Hello, this is Apostle Patrick T. Randolph. I want to welcome you to another episode of I Care, knowing that the Lord our God is great and he truly cares for you. The Lord our God is an awesome God. Nobody but nobody is like our God. And you know, the Lord put on my heart to talk to you this week uh, concerning really about the birth of Christ, even though we've already passed that time. But, you know, uh, it's, it's significant to us as Christians, as believers, as children of God, to really understand the Christ, to understand why he was born and what he has done for us. Amen. And so with that, uh, it's really a, a, a testimony of how much God really cares for us, that he would give his only begotten son to us. And that son, hallelujah, became, became our redeemer. Hallelujah. And it was our Redeemer. He delivered us from sickness, disease, poverty, and lack. Now, I know this is the time, again, where we, we've already passed uh, Christmas a little bit, but we're still in the celebrating season, if I can say it like that. So when we think about the Christ, we think about what he has really done. Think about the fact that now, before you were a sinner and you were doomed, watch this, really doomed, to hell because we had no outlet for the sin that we have committed in our lives. But Jesus died, watch this, and he did it, watch this, for us all. But before he died, he had to first of all come. So the father birthed his own son into this world for each and every one of us. And when he birthed his son into this world, this is what he had in mind, that neither of us would taste everlasting death, but we would experience, watch this, everlasting life. And so by his birth, the celebration of his birth, the celebration really of, of what he is unto each and every one of us, we have to always keep in mind our lives, our lives, and we live because he came in this earth. And I really want you to understand the power of that love. Now watch this because I really want you to understand something. The word of God says in Isaiah, unto us, a son is given. And so when we think about that, the child that was born unto us, hallelujah, it's the Christ. And when we see the story of the Christ, we see the story of his birth, we see that the wise men came to offer gifts to him, not only to offer gifts to him, but to worship him. So right there to identify who he really was, that he's not just a person, not just somebody, anybody, but to worship him signifies the God that was in him. Hallelujah to the Lamb. So even in this day and now, we still worship the Christ. We still give him the love that's due unto him and the praise and worship that's due unto him. In Jesus' name, amen. <laughs>